Today, it seems that Asian countries are the center of EV research and development. However, Indian companies are trying to catch up and want to make their country a leader in production of electrified two-wheelers. This year, India's leading two-wheeler manufacturer, Hero Motocorp, has announced the creation of their new EV-only brand called Vita. The brand's first product received the V1 Pro nameplate. This new scooter comes equipped with a 3.9 kilowatt electric motor with 18 pound-feet torque capabilities. The motor's power is delivered according to the chosen riding mode, Eco, Ride, or Sport. The Eco is geared toward providing the best riding autonomy, which is up to 68 miles on a charge, while the Sport unleashes the peak output of 6 kilowatts and opens up the 50 mile per hour speed capabilities. V1 Pro weighs 275 pounds with two 1.97 kilowatt hour batteries on board. These batteries support both home charging and high speed DC charging. Every minute of fast charging at the station adds 0.75 miles to the riding range. With Vita V1 Pro, you're also getting LED lights, front disc brakes, rear drum brakes with CBS, and a smart control app with turn-by-turn -turn navigation, location tracking, and security alarms. In order to capture an even larger share of the Asian and international e-scooter market, Yadea are looking for ways to make their new products more exciting and appealing to customers. This year, Yadea reached out to Porsche automotive designers in order to develop a fresh look of their new F200 sit-down scooter. This collaboration helped to achieve an ultra-sleek scooter exterior with streamlined design elements similar to those of a sports car. The sporty nature of the F200 scooter was backed up by an L3E level powertrain. Developed as an alternative to the 125cc class of scooters, the powertrain of F200 comprises a swing arm mounted electric motor and two 72 volt 27 amp hour battery packs. The powertrain boasts 10 kilowatts of peak output and 174 pound feet of torque capabilities, which is enough to climb hills with 30 degree inclines. This motor setup lets the scooter zip from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds and continue onwards to the limited top speed of 62 miles per hour. The available battery setup is said to provide up to 87 miles of range autonomy. While more concrete technical data is to be announced later, we already know that Yadea F200 will also feature hydraulic shock absorbers, ABS brakes, an underseat storage with 31 liters of capacity, and a 7.5-inch TFT control display. We first heard about Kimco Ionics back in 2019 when this Taiwanese motorcycle manufacturer announced their revolutionary battery swapping technology for scooters. Ionics scooters made their way to the domestic markets shortly after the initial announcement. However, the expansion to the international markets took several years to take off. Ionics i1 is an urban electric scooter that is equipped with a 4.2 kilowatt electric motor. This motor unit is characterized by zippy acceleration. However, its top speed was limited to just 28 miles per hour in order to comply with European EV regulations. The motor is hooked up to a removable 50.82 volt 34.3 amp hour battery pack that offers an estimated range of 37 miles. The manufacturer announced that these range estimations were recorded at an average speed of 19 miles per hour. Out of the factory, Ionix i1 weighs 214 pounds has the seat height of 29.9 inches and is equipped with vibrant LED lights, front 220mm disc, rear 130mm drum brakes, and advanced digital dashboard with a built-in USB charger for your phone. Yamaha's latest Neo scooter is targeting young riders that need a zero-emission form of transport to get around the urban areas with basic driving license requirements. Since youth is the main target for this model, Yamaha developed a quite appealing design for this scooter. It has a dual headlight that is separated by a decorative paint strip and three available color schemes. To be fair, the Neo's design is far more exciting than its performance capabilities. 
This two-wheeler relies on a direct-drive hub motor with 2.5 kilowatts of output and 28 mph speed capabilities. In the basic configuration, the motor unit is paired to a single 50.4-volt, 19.2 amp-hour battery pack, good for 23 miles of riding. However, a dual battery option with a 46-mile range autonomy is also available. Yamaha NEO is suspended by telescopic forks in the front and a rear swing arm suspension with 80 millimeters of travel. The stopping power comes courtesy of a single hydraulic disc brake in the front and a mechanical leading trailing drum brake in the rear. In the world where consumers experience no shortage of low-speed electric scooters, significantly faster models such as the Sark Cyber HC200 are treated with utmost interest. Compared to the majority of urban scooters that are limited to 28 mph speeds, HC200 offers a 50% boost in performance and range. Classified as an L3e scooter, Sark Cyber HC200 is powered by a 2.5 kW electric motor good for riding at speeds close to 44 miles per hour. When combined with a 60-volt, 45-amp-hour battery pack, this two-wheeler could provide up to 47 miles of zero-emission riding at an average speed of 28 miles per hour. Once depleted, the battery would need at least 3.5 hours to completely restore its charge from a standard household outlet. Sark Cyber HC200 is suspended by hydraulic spring shocks and is equipped with dual-piston disc brakes with CBS. Other standard components include a TFT-controlled dashboard, a smart app with a remote key feature, full LED lights, and an underseat storage compartment with 3.6 liters of storage capacity. As one of the most recognizable players on the market of electric rideable, Segway 9Bot needs no introduction. For the upcoming model year, the company is introducing a new sit-down scooter for the L3e A1 vehicle class. Just like most scooters within this class, the new Segway E300 SE was developed to provide performance comparable to traditional 125cc two-wheelers. The scooter comes equipped with a rear hub motor good for 10 kilowatts of peak output and a torque parameter of 147 pound-feet. This motor grants you the 0 to 30 mile per hour acceleration of 2.9 seconds and the top speed of 65 miles per hour. The scooter's standard configuration holds two 74-volt, 27-amp-hour battery packs with 2 kilowatt-hours of capacity each. However, an additional pack could be added for a prolonged range. The manufacturer estimates that you'd be able to cover up to 80 miles between charges. Segway E300 SE has a 30-inch long seat suitable for carrying two persons and 17 liters of storage capacity underneath the seat. The model is equipped with a dual-channel ABS, a smart traction control system, and a digital control dashboard with GPS and other important digital features. Steel Ride 1 is an upcoming electric two-wheeler developed by a Swedish startup that bears the same name. Even though the scooter has a step-through frame with geometry similar to that of a scooter, the manufacturer stubbornly refers to their creation as a mini motorcycle. After reading Steel Ride's official press release, we got an impression that the frame is regarded as the most high-tech component of this scooter, since its creation involves the use of the specially developed steel fold technology. Described as industrial origami, this technology uses metal bending instead of welding, thus producing a more rigid frame structure. In terms of performance, this scooter-like motorcycle relies on a PMSM hub motor with integrated controller and regen braking technology. The motor's nominal output is rated at 6 kilowatts, while the torque parameter is set at 155 pound-feet. In order to achieve 60 mile per hour speed capabilities and 75 mile range estimations, this two-wheeler was equipped with a 51-volt battery pack with 5.1 kilowatt-hours of capacity. The battery is supplied with a 1,200-watt off-board charger that could full-juice up the battery in four hours. Steel Ride 1 offers 5.5 inches of ground clearance and is suspended by an upside-down front fork and a single rear shock absorber with a multi-link system.
If you're planning on purchasing an electric maxi scooter, then unfortunately, your options are scarce. The number of options is even more limited on the North American market. Luckily, CSC Motorcycles have recently announced their intent of bringing an ERT3 scooter to the US for the upcoming 2024 model year. The scooter's potent powertrain will let you freely travel through urban environments and not be afraid of getting on the highway. ERT3 is brought into motion with the help of an 8 kW central motor with a belt drive capable of bringing 75 mph speeds. The battery setup consists of lithium polymer cells. The scooter's 72 volts, 96 amp hour battery pack can provide up to 125 miles of range autonomy at an average speed of 32 miles per hour, while carrying riders up to 330 pounds. The list of standard features also includes Bosch dual channel ABS brakes, an upright front shock and a double rear shock, TFT instrument display, LED lighting, an aluminum rear rack, a raised passenger seat, and a 3.3 kilowatt fast charger. With this charger, you can bring the battery indicator from 30 to 80% in about 70 minutes. Zeho is an uprising electric mobility brand that was created by CF Moto. Even though products by the CF Moto subsidiary are already well known on the Asian markets, the European and North American public have only gotten to know them at this year's Milan Motor Show. At their EICMA stand, Zeho displayed a production-ready AE8 scooter, as well as the futuristic magnet concept, destined to be turned into reality in the near future. Zeho AE8 is marketed as an electric alternative to 250cc scooters. It is motivated by a mid-mounted, liquid-cooled motor with 12.5 kilowatts of peak output and 160 pound-feet of torque. When combined with a 69-volt, 33-amp-hour dual-battery system, this powertrain shows 0 to 30 miles per hour acceleration time of 2.6 seconds and the maximum riding speed of 60 miles per hour. The official range estimations for this model are 75 miles on a charge. AE8 is equipped with an adjustable rear shock absorber with rebound damping, Maxxis sport tires, Brembo brake calipers, and Bosch dual-channel ABS. The technological package is strong with this one too. You are treated with a super-fast charging system that can get from 0 to 80% in 2 hours, have an access to a cruise control, GPS tracking, keyless proximity unlock technology, smart central lock, push assistance, and over-the-air software updates. All the available features can be activated via a smart control app while performance metrics can be observed on a 5-inch LCD display. Zeho Magnet Concept makes an even greater emphasis on high-tech features. Here, you'll get new lights, functional body wings, and an intelligent rider dashboard that uses front and rear high-definition cameras to provide cutting-edge driving assistance. In terms of performance, Zeho Magnet is said to accelerate from 0 to 30 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, offers the maximum speed of 93 miles per hour, and has the riding autonomy of 125 miles in the NEDC cycle. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time.